Hi there, I'm Trevor, I'm a 1080 coach and, and I want to talk to you today about making uh, opportunity from adversity. I mean, let's face it, there's a lot of adversity around at the moment and uh, and I'm going to try and shift you from that second word adversity onto the, onto the fur, back onto the first word uh, opportunity. Um, and how do I do this? Um, well, I, uh, whenever I'm facing a, a problem, I try and turn it into a question because I think that the your biggest problem is also the source of your greatest um, greatest opportunity. So um, here's a few examples. I'm going to take them from the world of what I do, which is sort of mentoring um, entrepreneurs. But they you can equally be in, uh, applied if you're uh, employed, if you're on furlough, if you're a career crossroads, whatever your situation, you can adapt what I'm going to say to you. So a first problem, for example, might be um, I don't have any customers. Uh, so if you don't have any customers, you know, you might want to think about, well, who do I serve or who have I served in the past? You know, what did I do for them? Think back to your success stories. Often you don't really think about those when you're in uh, in some sort of adversity. Um, so think about think about that, and also what sort of customers you might be serving in future. So that's one thing. So turn that problem into a question. Um, second thing is you might say, well, I can't get my foot in the door, or the uh, or the potential customer doesn't have a a budget. Um, so you have to think about what problem am I solving for customers? It may not necessarily be the same problems that you've been solving in the in in the past, but um, but just think about just try and get inside the problem. When I say the problem, I mean the real problem and not necessarily the symptom of a problem. Now, if you have a headache, uh, for example, uh, that's a symptom. Well, the cause of the problem might be something like you had too much to drink last night. So go for the, the real problem. Try to get to the root of the problem that your customers are facing. The third thing um, is how uh, do you solve the problem? That's a question that would, would answer a, a problem that would be like, you know, why is it that somebody would um, uh, would buy from me rather than anybody else? A lot of people think, well, there's nothing unique or special about, about what I do. I'd say to you that there probably is. You've probably got a methodology uh, or a way of doing things, a signature process or a set of values that actually um, uh, is probably is unique and you need to be able to think very um, carefully about how you get this across. So there you go. There's three problems that I've sort of turned into into questions. And I would say that when you start to ask yourself questions, you start to find answers. Certain things will occur to you as you're thinking. And I would say to you, just just write them all down as quickly as you can. Try and get them into some sort of priority list and then ask more questions. Uh, questions is the source of all this. But this time, ask questions of people outside, people who you can test your theories on about what might or might not sell. Now, as I said, you can adapt this to whether you're talking about rather than your customer, you might be talking about your, your, your manager or some other kind of stakeholder. But if you ask lots of questions of yourself, then you quickly move from adversity to opportunity. So I hope that's been helpful. And um, what I'd urge you to do is to um, is to look at the videos from the other great 1080 coaches uh, that, are, that are there. You'll find them on the 1080 website and in various other uh, places. But I hope that's been helpful. And, uh, and thank you for watching and listening.